And after a little bit of time away, we have fixed everything, and now we're ready to build a cattle farm here on Edgewater, Saskatchewan. Yeah, man. We are going to be utilizing this little area right here. It's not really a, a farm of any sort of the imagination. It's just an area on Farmland 62 with this field farm thing area. I don't know. I just threw everything in here. First things first, we need to get all of the area just kind of done up. What I mean is we've got all this, well, a field here. We don't need the field here anymore. So what we are going to do is go ahead and paint down. And we don't really need to do this part, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it because I think it'll make things easier later on. And I'm going to be using this grass texture so that I could just go down and paint grass right over it and we'll be good to go. There we go. All done. So now we save the game again. Because the last thing we want is a replay of what just happened to the previous setup. Okay, so now we're going to use something kind of neat. We're going to be using the open cattle pen. And what I've got is I've just got it set up right here. And we're going to line it up just about perfect with this little barn on the right-hand side. Also, we're going to go a little bit into the woods. Not by much, just enough to kind of get us out of the way. And then, well, bam! Done. Ta-da! Yeah, man! Now we can focus on the fencing. Now, I do want the fence to match-ish what we've kind of got down around the rest of the fields and farms and areas. So, let's go over here and take a look real quick. So, everything's using this setup right here where it looks to be some type of wire or maybe metal fence and then going through with these uh, the posts. So, Let's see if we can find the exact one. Maybe something close-ish to it. And I think we found it. Right here. This one, uh, just... I don't know. I don't know. They all actually just say fence. So, but I think this is the one. To be fair, may not be the best at holding cattle in. But you know what? I think it'll be just fine. So let's start down here. Right about here. And we'll go over to about right about there. Now, I do have the fence mod installed where you don't have to worry too much about any uh, fences getting in the way or that type of thing. We do maybe need to put in some type of uh, a door, though. I don't know. I've got an opening here. There's no real reason for us to have to come in here. I don't know. Maybe we'll do it on, maybe we'll do it on this side. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it on this side. We'll put it like right here, right about there. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Ah, you know what though? Uh, I don't think there's actually any gates that match this. Okay. Well, maybe we don't worry about it then. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and line up there and we will follow along right about to here. That should be good-ish enough. And then we'll try and match that up all the way over here right against the building. And then we shouldn't have any more troubles. Let's go from above just so we can see the line almost perfectly. And kaboom. Right about there. I think that should do it. Yeah, could be could be worse. Could be better. But I'm okay with it. We got a couple trees back here as well. We may add a couple more of those. And it looks like we are more than in the mesh as well. Doesn't look like maybe a little bit of overlap here on the side with the mesh, but I don't think we're gonna have to worry about that too much. So let's go and get rid of that mesh. Boop, just like so. Sweet. Oh, we get some deer in here too. That's cool. Now do like some extra trees. So maybe we put a couple little trees here and there just to kind of give it a little bit more, uh, whatever back here. That's. Could be a lot worse. Something else we'll need are the animals themselves. Uh, we do want cattle. I think I want uh, adult cattle, like right there. We don't want too old, but animals are healthy, older, 18 months, can reproduce, uh, age 18. Yeah, I guess we could just buy animals that are ready to reproduce right off the bat, and that should be good to go. So they're going to cost us... Uh, 1500 bucks a piece. I said, uh, a main amount. Let's see. Hang on. How many? Huh. Said we spent about 300 grand on them. So, okay. All right. Sweet. Now we have 180 head of cattle in here, hanging out, doing their thing, being all happy and stuff. We do need to cut, put a couple things around and we're going to need to find a way to feed them because they don't actually have any food for them yet, which is what all of the fields around here are getting ready to turn into. 
They're all going to be grass fields. That way we can get silage, hay, and grass in here to feed them. And there's a couple mods that I'm going to use here that I've used previously that worked absolutely phenomenally. And I'm just going to do them again. So I don't think I'm going to need to get back in there to utilize that again ever. So I'm going to use this right here. This is where the milk is going to go. And let's double check and make sure that I can put one of these down. Of course, it didn't want to do it the first time. Let's try it again the second time and boop. Second time's a charm. All right. That is where the milk is going to go. Funny enough, that's also where the slurry is going to go, I think, as well. We also need to put something down for the milk itself. I think the milk could go into a place, probably, but we'll put that somewhere else on the map. That way I can actually deliver it. Now we're going to get more into finishing building our farm. So we got cattle over here. Nice, happy cattle. I did think about doing some chickens, though. Um, I haven't done anything, I don't think, with chickens in a minute. Of course, they're really only going to give us... Nah, that chicken pen's way too large. Maybe we'll just wait for an open chicken pen like that, and I'll be fine. So here's what I'm thinking for the rest of it. I think this main area through here may work really well as a road. So that'll work good there. Maybe something here on the side. Maybe our house. Maybe a smaller garage. Something like that. Definitely like keeping the cattle where they're at. So let's jump in here. And there's a few things that I want to just give a try and see. First up is uh, building from the American Farm Pack. I would love to put this about like right here. But we do have some trees in the back that might be clipping a little bit and I think we could get a little bit further back if they weren't there so I do want to go delete those trees but the good thing is we can make a nice big bright red barn out of that so I definitely want to put at least one of those down should be able to get some stuff in there then we've got all this area down here on the end one of the ideas that I had was to use this building now this is a bigger building and I'm not quite sure that it would work great down there we may have to just use one of these we could probably utilize this here, but I'm not sure this would work like that. So what I thought about doing was maybe having like this here or that like right there. And then one of these, the onset building, kind of like in there, maybe like that to the side, possibly in towards that way. I'm not quite sure yet. Maybe neither, but I do, I do want to use this because it looks awesome. Plus, I mean, look at that color. That looks awesome. So we will get back in here with our easy dev controls and we will just put an end to a few of these trees. That way we can get just a little bit closer to the tree line. We can add some more trees later if we want to, but I think for right now, I want to do the opposite of that. There we go. That'll work good. And we'll get in here with some landscaping just to kind of paint it up. Perfect. Now let's do it from the american pack this shed right here and we're gonna go bright red with it we will double check and make sure that we can place this down on free paint we'll get it back as far as we can get it which i think is going to be about there and we'll get this about as close this way i may have to delete one of those trees but crap that's what i was trying to prevent from happening <laughs> Man, I wish I wish I could see what was going on there. Oh, well. So this is the other thing as well, is it actually took the back back here and raised it up, which I was not quite wanting to happen. But you know what? I guess it is what it is. You got to deal with it. As far as everything goes, I think we'll be able to manage slowly, but surely we'll be able to manage. So we can open that up, but we can't open that up and this at the same time, more or less. So there's that that works now we've got this area over here which don't still quite know what to do with i don't know let's place a few things down see what it looks like okay so i've got an idea that i think might work for this building however it doesn't change colors what i want to do is get it like right here okay but the issue is there's this whole area over here that may need to be flattened out across what it's going to do is it's going to have to either get rid of this whole area down in there or i'm just gonna have to come up with another idea also i decided not to make this red it just seemed like it worked better not being red and yes i do have a please open the door thank you and then we'll open this up and we'll go ahead and open this door as well nice all right well slowly but surely we're getting some places to put our equipment and here's what we've got so we've got our cattle down We've got an American shed here. I've got a, another shed there. And we've got this one, which is a base game shed that I painted red. 
Yeah! Should be more than enough places for us to put stuff, but we need to decorate first. So let's get my person out of the way. There we go. We'll just put him in the barn for now. And let's start drawing ourselves an area here. So landscaping, we'll jump into painting, and we need to find ourselves some gravel. So the gravel there is working good. And let's... There we go. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work pretty good. Let's go and bring that in there. There we go. And I'm just going to kind of draw out the middle area of kind of how I want it to go. Right about there. That'll work good. And then I'm just going to zoom in right about there. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, that's, that's going to go good. Very nicely, very nicely. And once all that has been connected, we will just go ahead and draw out the other quick areas through here. And then we'll do the outside edges. We do want to make sure we get all the way out where we want to go here first. And then that way we could just come right in and do all the fill in. Got those areas good. Now we can start filling in the grass area. So all these greenery spots. We'll just kind of paint some grass in here. And I also want to come in here and paint where our cattle are as well. That way they've got a nice area for themselves. Now some areas don't need to be all grass in here. For example, we do want to make sure we get a little bit of separation here with like some dirt right where their feed goes. This should give us a nice just barrier more or less. You don't have to do this, but I think it looks better. And then if you want to do it on this side as well, you can. I'm going to. Again, just because I think it looks better. And there we go. What do you think? Definitely outlines that makes it look a little bit better. That is what I like. So from here, we can add a little bit more separation with some trees and a couple bushes. Things like that. Just to kind of split up these two areas right here. There we go. That'll... That'll work all right. That's a little bit too big, but this is just right. That'll do. While we're at it, we could go ahead and add a couple fence areas here as well. We'll just kind of do like that. That will do. And then we could do some fences through here. Uh, now, I've taken all the fences off the rest of the farm, so <laughs> that's probably not going to work the way I want it to personally. But we could but we all know I'm gonna cut corners, so I'm not gonna do that. Now, let's get everything put away in its new home. Not everything will fit over here, but I'm hoping that most everything, or at least a lot of stuff, will fit. I'm gonna try and do equipment in these far sheds right here. Uh, maybe that 50-foot trailer will fit in here. I doubt it. We'll find out. 